Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is MM. If you're joining for the first time, you're welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So in today's video, I'll be doing a story time of how my dirty December, that's what I'll call it, became dirty for real. Literally speaking, dirty. So we're having a glass of pineapple juice. Yes, it's pineapple, no wine. But just gonna feel bush. So sit back and um, enjoy the story time. to attend in Minx so I traveled from Grodno to Minx yesterday for that party and I experienced some things I never want to experience anymore in my life so the story goes that on the 25th I attended a Christmas party and I enjoyed myself I ate the meals I had fun I played games but something is always wrong with my system anytime I eat dishes from outside, maybe from a large group, I always have diarrhea. Yes, I had diarrhea. So I went for the party on the 25th, I ate, I went to bed on the 26th morning, and I also traveled to Minx for this white party. So I was fine, I woke up in the morning, I didn't have any pain. Everything was okay with my digestive system. I got onto the bus and on my way here, they usually have a break after one hour, 45 minutes. And um, I like emptying my bladder. So I got down to ease myself at the stop. Everything was still all good. There wasn't any problem. So we got back into the bus and we started moving. I was sleeping peacefully sleeping then i heard a rumble <laughs> my tummy literally made noise and i knew within me that something was about <laughs> something was about to change all of a sudden that was the start of my unrest in that bus and for the fact that they already made a stop i couldn't tell the driver i was really ashamed tell the driver to stop so i was in pains and um every time i travel i travel with loperamide it's an anti diarrhea medication so i tried to take the anti diarrhea medication i was already shaking i was trying to hold myself in because it came with full force i was sweating and I was all alone sitting at the corner of the window, just wishing no one saw what I was going through. I tried for like 40 minutes to hold myself from releasing. All I wanted to do was shout stop, but I could not, I was embarrassed. So the best I could do was hold it in. So finally I saw um, a post outside on the road straining 47 kilometers where how long did it take to get to minx and my god 47 kilometers how long is that i waited for a long time then waited for a long time and i saw 23 kilometers i was almost tired my sphincter was tired of <laughs> trying to hold it i was trying my best not to poop in my pants to shit in my pants. I tried for 40 minutes, like I said, and um, finally I saw 11 kilometers. I was like, wow, thank God. Then 11 kilometers seems so far. And mind you that anytime I pass a filling station that I know there's a um, water closet there, my tummy starts, you need to do this, you need to drop this, you need to drop it right now. I was just begging God, please, just today, looking up to the clouds, <laughs> please, just forgive my sins and let me get to a safe place. Let me not embarrass myself, really. So finally, I got to see the tall buildings because when you're coming from Grodno to Minsk, once you see the tall buildings, you know you've arrived where you're going. 
So I brought out my phone, I traveled with my friend, so I texted her that I need to get off the bus right now before I shit on my pants. So immediately I saw a mall that was familiar to me and I think I've stopped there before. I just I just shouted in you know, Russian. <laughs> I still don't know if you can that. Like if she stopped there, I want to come down immediately. And he stopped. I couldn't walk from my seat down because my out like my whole uh, was tired of holding it in. So I managed, I was making some few prayers, I got down, time to walk. So I got down, I didn't know where to go. I looked at this place, I saw the mall. I saw KFC, I saw some other supermarket, but I didn't know where I had a toilet for me to ease myself. I started making my movement to, I saw a restaurant, a dumpling restaurant. Then for me to make my walk there, it wasn't difficult because any movement, I could shit off myself. So finally we found the entrance to the restaurant and um, two steps just to get to the door of the restaurant. Boy, I was this close to shitting on my pants. So I held myself, you know when you like try to cross your leg, not to make it. <laughs> anything go out from your anus. So that's what I did. And um, I held myself in. Immediately I could walk into the restaurant. I went, close, I went straight to the waiter and asked where their toilet is. He didn't understand me at first. I had to put a question, please where is your toilet? And he directed me. I just dumped my box and went to the toilet and I used myself. Much better. On my way to my friend's house, I got the urge again to go to the toilet. I just hung in there, just like 17 minutes drive. By the time I got home, I went straight to the toilet, I released and I thought by evening I'll feel better to go for the party. I was still saying like I was still trying my best because I didn't come all the way to Minx to take a shit. I came to have a fun time at the party that evening. So I got in the evening, I had my bath. I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll feel better. 10 seconds before dressing up. The whole shit came again. Like, at this point, I was sure I wasn't going to go for the party. I felt sad, but I never eaten the uh, entire day. I just took plain bland rice and I took some water. I did this um, sugar and salt solution. I was dehydrated, so I took fluids and so I laid on my bed, I was a bit sad, but I just had to tell myself it's much better you are home rather than going out for the party and embarrassing yourself there. What's the point of going for a party where you can't have fun? So I just stayed at home, I slept, and this morning I woke up much better. But I had little abdominal cramps, but right now I'm feeling better and I'm feeling so good. So yeah, that was how my December celebrations went. Didn't have much fun, but I did better than last year, I presume. So thank you so much for watching up to this point. I want to wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. See you in my next video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.